This video will show you how to troubleshoot sound issues you may be receiving with your Sony home theater. It's important to note that your speakers must be compatible with the receiver in order to receive proper sound. Most Sony home theater receivers require speakers with an impedance of 8 to 16 ohms, and we recommend that the speakers have at least 100 watts of output power each. If your ohms do not match or your output power is too low, it can cause one of two problems. Either your speakers will output with intermittent or distorted sound, or your speakers can become overloaded and get damaged. Once you are sure that your speakers are compatible, check to make sure that the wires are properly connected to both speakers and the receiver. The wires should fit snugly in their contacts not loose or jittery. If you are unsure which line is which, you can mark with a piece of tape on the unexposed part of the wire and label it with the speaker position and if it is a red or a black line. Once you are sure that your speakers are connected to the proper slots, gently pull on them to make sure that the connections are snug. If they're not, reconnect them and try again. If your speakers are binding posts, you will still need to make sure that the wires are in the proper channels and colors. Again, you can mark them with a piece of tape to label which the speaker wire is and if it's a red or a black line. To connect to a binding post, you need to unscrew the post and insert the wire into the upper right corner behind the post. Then re-tighten the post and check to see if the wire is snug. If not, reconnect the wire and try again. With your speakers properly connected, let's test the speakers from the receiver. Turn on the receiver and the TV. Then turn the TV to the receiver input. Next, we need to test the speakers, so we will go into the speaker testing menu. Press the up or down arrow buttons until speaker is selected, and then press the center button. Use the up or down arrow buttons to highlight SP pattern Press the center button. Here you will need to tell the receiver which way you have set up your speakers. Press the up or down arrow buttons until you see an image that is similar to your speaker configuration. Once you have selected your configuration, press the center button. Now, back in the speaker setting menu, press the up or down arrow buttons until you highlight test tones and press the center button. Press the up arrow button to activate test tones. As the test cycles through the speakers, you should hear sound coming from the speaker that is highlighted on the screen. If no sound is heard, check your speaker connection and your volume and try the test again. Do not turn your volume up high during the test as sudden high noise may damage your speakers. And ensure that it is not on mute. A moderate volume is sufficient. By pressing the up and down arrow buttons in this menu, you can choose to test speakers individually, which is helpful if you are not receiving sound and need to adjust that speaker's connection. Once you are able to hear sound from all of your speakers, press the menu button to go back to the main menu, and then press the menu button to exit. Remember, your speakers must be compatible with the receiver. If you are still not receiving sound, we need to check the connections to your equipment. Check to make sure that the audio, video, or HDMI cables are connected to the devices you are using and that the plugs are in the proper ports. Since we are using the receiver as the brain of the system, the TV will actually have two cables, one HDMI to send the picture from the receiver to the TV, and a digital optical cable to send the sound from the TV to the receiver. First. Take an HDMI cable and connect one end of the HDMI cable out of the receiver while connecting the other end to the TV HDMI input. You will also need that digital audio optical cable now. Use this cable to connect the TV to the receiver. Take one end of the digital optical audio cable and connect it to the TV's output. Connect the other end to the receiver's input.
Now check that your receiver is on the proper input for your device. Once you receive the signal on the TV, play some content to make sure that you are receiving the device's audio through the receiver's speakers. You can do this by simply playing a DVD. If you are receiving a picture but no sound, try turning up the volume on the receiver. If your receiver volume is at a moderate level and you cannot hear any sound, try using a different cable. If your issue is still not corrected, we can check the sound field. If you are unable to receive sound, press the sound field plus or minus buttons on the receiver remote until you are able to hear sound. At this point, if you are still not receiving sound, please visit us at esupport.sony.com for more troubleshooting options.